this is Dave Welsh with Automation Devices and today's topic is table construction. What we wanted to talk about is the best practices when it comes to table construction so that your vibratory feeder can work as best as possible. What we've seen in the past are the successful models and the ones that don't work so well. And we thought we'd talk about both so that if you're going to go through the process of building your own table, that at least you're going to be successful with the table that you build so that your feeder that you put on it is going to work the best as possible. So let's start talking by what would we recommend? It's a very simple uh, arrangement. What we would recommend is a one inch thick uh, tabletop plate of steel uh, welded to three inch tubular frame uh, down to the ground, gusseted at the bottom, and then leveling jack screws with a rubber foot on the bottom. And that basically will give you the strongest, most rigid possible table so that the energy that you're trying to project into the bowl to get your parts to drive around stay right where it's supposed to be. If you build a table that's inadequate, what'll happen is the energy will go down into the table and not drive the parts in your bowl. And you may see that. So if you've ever had a situation where maybe you know you, it works better on some other table and you're, you're trying to figure out what's going on, take that feeder bowl, put it down on a concrete floor, see how it runs down there. If it's running down there better, then it's quite possible that your table just isn't strong enough. So a lot of things that will make a table not quite so strong is using anything less than a one inch top. Uh, or maybe you're using an aluminum plate, or maybe the plate's just simply bolted to the frame where we would recommend it being welded. Uh, angle iron for table legs might physically be strong enough to hold up the system, but the vibration in those type of legs will usually work in a negative way. Uh, also, maybe if it's on casters, if your table's been built on wheels to roll around, that might not always be one of the best practices to keep things working. But like I said, what we'll do is we'll show you a few pictures now of some of the table constructions that we would recommend, and then we can talk about what we can do in terms of either building you one or quoting you one out. All right, well, now that you've seen a couple of the type of tables that we would recommend, why don't you give us a call? Give us an opportunity to quote you your next table for your feeding system, or at least we can give you some guidance on what you should be building. Uh, give us a call. We'll be very happy to give you a quote. Thanks for watching.